Hey guys, Brick Amigos here and welcome back to another video. To, so today we've got for you a, a bit of a haul video and updates and all that fun stuff. So uh, the other day I went on a trip to uh, Minneapolis uh, with one of my friends to find some Lego deals and just do some shopping and recreation and other stuff like that. So anyways, uh, we went there, we, we went to uh, seven different Walmarts looking for uh, clearance Lego because all I've been seeing on Instagram for the past couple months, really, is just amazing deals that people are getting on Lego sets that are really good sets, too. So, of course, uh, being 18 now and able to cross the border without my parents, I was like, yeah, let's get on this. Let's plan a trip and stuff. So, yeah, we, we had a successful trip. I found some great clearance sales and everything, and we had a great time, too. We had a safe drive. Everything was cool. And you Americans, you drive fast down there, let me tell you. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so uh, that yeah, was a great time. So uh, let's get into what we got here. So um, also, if you're noticing that my sig fig has changed a little bit, that's because I, uh, I got a new job. So um, if you guys recall uh, the job that Matthew was doing, uh, where he goes out probing the ground, uh, doing safety routine checks for natural gas pipelines, well, uh, now I've got that job too. Um, because uh, I was actually visiting him out uh, out at the camp that he's working at, and they called him while we were canoeing, and they were like, hey, uh, can you come out and work? And of course he couldn't because he's already got a job, but me just working at McDonald's and wanting to leave anyways because it sucks, um, yes, I decided, okay, I will I will quit that job and go to here and work the rest of the summer with uh, with this new company. So yeah, that was a great decision. I'm basically done training now. Uh, we'll probably get out into the field next week. Anyways, that's another story. So uh, yeah, let's get into the Lego stuff. That's why you guys are here anyways. So let's start out with the pick a brick. So uh, I picked up uh, two large cups. I just put out one of each piece that I got on here. I'll move you guys up a little so you can see. There we go. Sorry for the shaky. Um, anyways, so you can see here there's a I'll start bottom left, go up and such. There's a two by two white tile, two by two yellow jumper. Uh, we got the lime green tile, one by two. The light bluish gray grill. I actually got a ton of those because they're pretty useful. You can use them for like grates and cities and stuff, yeah. And maybe some space stuff, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, two by two green, just a couple. Four by four green, another, just a couple. Uh, I only got like four of the two by two reds. Um, then this is a, just like a half of a slope. I got a couple of those because they're pretty cool, pretty useful. I could probably use them. Then I got a decent amount of the cheese slopes. I didn't remember picking up the white grills, so I think they were just mixed in in a bin and I grabbed a couple, so there's probably not too many in there. Um, the one by threes just got a couple to bolster our collection of one by gray bricks. 2x2, two two, or sorry, 2x4s, not too many. 2x6s, again, not too many. Uh, chairs, I got a decent amount of those, maybe, I want to say 40 to 50. Not sure, it didn't count. Uh, just, you know, they're pretty cool. Uh, the claw pieces. Now, my friend Evan, uh, when we were at the Lego store in the Mall of America, he was like, these are really cool. You could use them for like a thatch roof in like a medieval town or something. So I thought that was a really good idea. So I decided to pick up a, a decent amount. Uh, I'll show you the the bin I made of all my pick a brick in a second. So you can see just how many I got. But yeah, and then I got the fences. I got a decent amount of those because I already have some. Um, and then we got this clip right here. That was pretty good. And then the piece behind the fence, that's the ice cream cone piece. So I thought that was really weird that that was on the wall, but um, recently in a grab bag we got from the Lug, Lego users group, um, we got a bunch of uh, brown ice creams, like so the ice cream piece. So I decided, hey, yeah, why don't we just get the cones and then we can make a ice cream stand or something. Then we got tons of these, or not tons, a decent amount of these white one by six slopes. And yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for different pieces. And so yeah, the, the store had a really great selection, so I decided to get the two cups. And here, I'll just show you what's in the bin. Yeah, uh, we got quite a selection of pieces that I still have to sort through. I just started the other night, and yeah, you can see there's a, there's a ton of those claw pieces. So I've got my work cut out for me there, and other places as well. But let's get on to the sets. The sets is what really blew me away. 
Um, I don't remember exactly all the prices I paid, but I'll try my best to, to tell you. So let's start out with one of the smallest sets. I already built it. That's why the box is opened. But I got the, whoops, the Rogue One U-Wing Micro Fighter. Um, that was $5. So in Canada here, that's a, that's a $15 set, which is really stupid Lego. But yeah, um, I really liked it. It was a fun build. Um, I like that you are able to do the wings just like it is in the movie. I know that doesn't look great right now, but. Yeah, so that was a really good deal. Um, then the next smallest set is the Iron Man versus Thanos uh, Mighty Micros, two micro sets. Hmm. Um, this was also $5, and what we really like here is just the Thanos figure, how you can make him into a, a vault boy from uh, Fallout. So yeah, just got one of, another one of those because it was super cheap. Um, moving on to the another small set. Let's get vault boy out of the way. Uh, we got Ray's Speeder, built this one too, uh, it was $9, so that, it's it's a decent deal, like here in Canada, that's a $25 set, which is unbelievable. It's because it's new Star Wars, Force Awakens, so I, I get the reasoning, but like I also hate it, so I didn't want to buy this set until I got it, like a good deal like this, so this is a pretty good price, and it's a good build, I really like that head wrap piece, that's really detailed. I didn't put any of the stickers on though, and the stud shooters, because stud shooters suck on there, and they make it look really weird. So yeah, that was a good set. Um, oh, this is a interesting set. The, yeah, Spider-Man Ghost Rider Team-Up. I really liked this set when I came out, and I know it's really liked in uh, the LEGO community, so decided to pick it up. We're probably not going to build it. I think this will go into our sealed set collection. Um, yeah, it was... $13 I want to say yeah that's about right so yeah that's a that's a good deal for it I think it's 25 to 30 here I think so that's decent uh, but yeah, I haven't opened that or anything now this was probably the most surprising deal I checked online after when I got home um, and this is a $25 set in Canada whoops and I bought it for $7 so like that's that's quite the clearance right there. And this set I believe just came out for the summer wave of Nexo Knights. Uh, we've also never bought a Nexo Knights set before, so I'm not really sure what I bought. Um, besides the name and everything. So yeah, I I really do like that piece though for uh, the stone dude's legs. I want to say he's a monster, but not sure. Yeah. So we're we're also not gonna build this one. This is going into the collection. Uh, yeah, it's it's cool though. Like I like these drill like pieces and the robot is cool That's really cool. But yeah, nothing really we need in our collection. So but Interesting idea. Um Then we got another of the kryptonite interception. I bought that for Matthew's birthday last year uh, Paid full price for it, but now we're never paying retail uh, so yeah, this was also I think thirteen dollars. So that's that's a pretty good price um, in Canada It's a forty dollar set. So yeah, we got a great deal there And that one also of course isn't opened because we already got it um, So now I have to tell Matthew not to watch this video because this next next set is his birthday present um, So I hope he doesn't watch this um, but it's a Lego City set He uh, messaged me before I went and he's like hey try and find this set I don't know if he did any research on its own, but uh, on his own, sorry. But yeah, this was a $25 clearance set. Uh, I checked on the LEGO website. This is a $60 set in Canada, so we got quite the deal on it. That's more than 50% off for sure, even with the exchange. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty good. And then this was the best set of all. Um, I, there's also one more set I wish I bought, but I didn't really want to spend more money. But now I kind of regret not getting it, but... Anyways, that one that I was just mentioning was the U-Wing. It was there for either $30 or $40. I want to say $40. That sounds a bit more accurate. And that's a $100 set in Canada. I thought it was only $90, so I didn't think I was getting the best deal. But now that I know it was $100, uh, yeah, I'm mad. But here's the biggest set we got. It is, uh, you can't even fit the box on the screen here. It's the uh, Resistance X-Wing Fighter. I've already built it because I really wanted it. Um, this was on for $45 uh, in Canada. It's a hundred dollar set. So with the exchange factored in it's around 50% off 
if not a bit more, just a little bit. But yeah, this was a really good build. I really liked it. Um, I'll grab it here. And yeah, it's, it's just, it was a lot of fun. It reminds me, uh, well, of course, it reminds me a lot of the X-Wing I got with the Yoda's Hut set. But yeah, this is just, it was so much fun. It really, uh, I haven't built a big Star Wars set like this in years, so yeah, it was really cool. The BB-8 figure is really nice. Uh, Lor Santeca, the First Order Flame Trooper, everything. Yeah, it was cool. Um, and then I also got some minifigures. So uh, there, I got a hot dog guy. I'll zoom in on him. So this is my third hot dog guy. Cause I like him because he's got those dual molded arms. Sadly, I picked up a duplicate of the Highwayman. Um, and then from the new Ninjago series, I only bought one because I don't really care about Ninjago. I got the uh, Cole figure. I kind of felt up the pack for that one because, uh, oh yeah, this was random. This one wasn't. Uh, he wasn't random either. Uh, yeah, I just wanted a regular civilian, so I was cool with getting any of the ninjas in their regular garb. And then uh, last thing is I, I got one of the older minifigure series packs. Oops, dropped it. And I'm leaving it sealed because it's one of the suit guys, and those are apparently super popular. This is the uh, penguin suit guy in the back there. So yeah, that's our Lego haul from the USA on our trip. Uh, I think I got a pretty good haul in and balling starting here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was it was fun, and it was cool to go to like seven different WalMarts. I actually got most of the sets, uh, all the sets except a race speeder in a uh, Soak Center Walmart. So uh, if any of you guys know where that is, uh, yeah, it was cool. I checked Fergus Falls, uh, Soak Center, Minneapolis, Fargo, Grand Forks, uh, Alexandria. Yeah. I, oh, Maple Grove too. Yeah, I checked so many. It was a lot of fun though. Evan was really cool about it. Uh, he also found some cool stuff. He isn't into Lego anymore, but he was still okay doing this. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you stuck along this long... Um, you're a trooper, so thanks a lot for watching guys. We'll be more active now. I got to do some more sorting, but um, Hopefully we'll be back to building mocks soon. We got to prepare for our mega train show uh, In September, so yeah, got to get building Anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. Brickham, you guys out